quick plug before the video i am still offering birth chart readings please consider getting one they are a lot of fun it's a lot of information it's a pre-recorded video which i will usually keep private unless you want me to post it publicly um, but i talk for about an hour so i can pack a lot of information in um, into an hour that's what the the birth chart readings are so um, if you're interested in that check out my website um, the rates are there you can purchase the readings directly through the website as well um, yeah or you can check out my other reading options too okay but thanks for bearing with me and now you can watch the video so starting out with Aquarius that is an interesting one because uh, probably the person that may be like the love of my life um, has sun in Aquarius so can't help but recognize that what else um yeah I kind of vibe with Aquarius I have a lot of air in my chart so we have a lot in common I don't have a lot of Aquarius in my chart per se but there's a lot of Gemini and some Libra for sure so um so yeah we do have a lot in common I love how honest Aquariuses are they're very honest um, that can offend some people, but it doesn't really, it doesn't usually offend me. I usually really appreciate that. So, um, I'm going to have to put them in the definitely category. I think they're one of the more likely signs for me to really vibe with, if that makes sense. Um, okay. Yeah, pretty much it's that simple. Let's go to Aries. Um, <laughs> this one's interesting. So I love, I mean, kind of like Aquarius in a way, Aries is very straightforward, very upfront, very direct. I really appreciate that. That's a good time. Um, I also have my, my Venus is in Leo. My Descendant is in Sagittarius. My Lilith is in Aries. So I have a lot of like compatibility oriented placements that are in fire signs. Um, so I do tend to be attracted to more like fiery um, astrology compositions, I guess you could say um what else aries i love how bold aries is like i really admire aries i don't really relate to aries so much but i admire them for being maybe braver than i am you know they can put themselves out there many of them or many people with a lot of aries in their charts um the only downside would be i guess our differences potentially um <laughs> we do have a lot of differences and some aries can be a little bit more on the reckless side i could see that maybe stressing me out i'm I feel like I'm usually more chill. Um, I would still appreciate how like active they are and how exciting they are. But of course, that comes with certain potential drawbacks. Um, so I'm going to put them in the prob probably uh, category. I do think this is one of the signs that would m be more likely to, to vibe with me. But I do think there's some like potential downsides as well. Uh, okay, next is Cancer. This is an interesting one for me because... Um, honestly, out of all the signs, Cancer is probably the sign I vibe with the most often. Like, you know, if I were to just meet a bunch of people, more often than not, the, the type of person I hit it off with the, the, the most easily will have, especially Sun and Cancer, but maybe other Cancer placements as well. I think it's because the Moon is strong in my chart. I, I don't have much water in my chart. I don't have any Cancer planets, um, but the Moon is conjunct my rising, so... I, I don't know if that's why we kind of gel well together. Um, the only drawback, I think, in a romantic relationship, though, is that um, when I'm really close with someone, I'm very, very honest and sometimes in a kind of tactless sort of way. Like, I can maybe be a little bit offensive, believe it or not. Um, so that could ruffle some feathers, I think. Um, also cancer is, you know, probably the most emotional sign. And I feel like I'm more on the less emotional side of the range. I can be a little sensitive, but, um, so cancer, 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 cancer. Um, that's tough. I feel like, I feel like I'd rather be friends with cancer than in a romantic relationship with cancer. I feel like that could get a little dicey. So I might have to put them in the neutral pile <laughs> um that's hard to do though because i feel like i vibe so well with cancer but then you know if we were to get more seriously involved though i think i think that would be difficult i i feel like i can be very empathetic and very like focused on the other person's emotions and i cancer is usually just in, focused on their own emotions if that makes sense so i think I don't think that would work super well romantically. So again, yeah, I, I 
cancer probably more than any any other sign is really great for being friends i think with me but um romantically um i'll still put them in neutral like it's definitely a possibility but yeah i'm kind of i guess i'm kind of on the fence romantically uh next is capricorn this one's interesting i feel like you know i do spend my time on apps sometimes and for some reason like i had this streak where like every person i would vibe with was capricorn sun for a while um i'm not really sure why that is you know we do have some things in common i have a lot of earth in my chart um we have those commonalities i've i actually had a long-term relationship for several years with someone who has capricorn sun um and many of my family members have capricorn strong in their charts so i feel like capricorn is a very familiar energy to me like i i get it it's it, it feels almost like family to me so um so maybe that could be part of you know a romantic situation um if anything the only drawback i could see is that capricorn can be a little bit more on the serious side and i i have a lot of gemini in my chart i like to have fun i like to not take things too seriously you know um i can have kind of a crazy and silly sense of humor um so capricorn um oh gosh i feel like they'd be kind of in between here okay sorry for that brief like hard cut um i had to take that call it was from a fellow agent that i work with um not this job my other job anyway okay so capricorn yeah capricorn um oh i i hadn't decided yet capricorn i put in between oh gosh um i mean i'm really looking for that fire and capricorn is earthy which is cool i'm gonna put capricorn in, in um, neutral with cancer i guess okay next is gemini um and this this is interesting because yeah i have a lot of placements in gemini i i might be more like gemini than any other sign but when it comes to meeting other gemini's like i think this is another one where i feel like it would be a friendship if anything i don't see a romantic type of thing you know why because gemini gemini's are nervous and they're also very like open they're very adaptable and so typically gemini prefers for the other person to initiate if you get my drift here um so <laughs> i think this is one of those situations where the things we have in common will actually make this dynamic more difficult to develop romantically because both of us will be kind of nervous awkward overthinking everything we'll both be waiting for the other person to initiate that that doesn't seem sexy to me like two overthinkers doesn't seem uh sexy at all so don't get me wrong i mean i'm not saying it couldn't happen um you know with the right dynamic like the, but there'd have to be a certain i don't know combination of other energies involved gemini on its own i i don't think i don't see how that would develop or or how that would work really um i just i don't know okay next is leo leo's interesting because as i mentioned before i do have a lot of compatibility placements in fire signs like i'm attracted to fire signs um but i haven't really hooked up with leo a whole lot which is kind of strange my venus is in leo um so i do i love their confidence i admire it i think it's exciting it's a good time you know leo has the advantage of being fixed fire so it's a little bit more stable than sagittarius or aries which you know might be nice um, I don't know why I haven't matched up with Leo more. Maybe it's because of my Virgo son, which, you know, that forms kind of a weird aspect. Leo is like the 12th house to Virgo, if that makes sense. So that's a little weird. Um, Leo does sextile Gemini. Uh, but for whatever reason, I just don't, we don't usually get to know each other very much. Like we don't get very deep with each other usually. Even as friends, I, I don't, um, I haven't really had any Leo friends so much um i do like their confidence not just their confidence but their their honesty their directness um so i feel like it could work it just hasn't happened before um so i'd put them in with the probably i don't know um the only downsides i don't really have any uh drawbacks i think the only one is just my lack of experience with leo i just it just hasn't happened yet that doesn't mean it could never happen it's just um i just don't have any like positive memories to cite or refer to 
no negative ones either. But um, so I'll put I'll put Leo in with the probabilities. Okay, Libra is interesting, and I've actually thought about this a lot because um, I have hit it off with Libra. Uh, you know, Libra Sun people, Libra Moon people. I've had uh, friends with the, uh, placements like that. And romantically, I could see this going either way. Um, a Libra, I, I, I often think Libra is, it's a sign that I can hit it off with and I have enough in common with that we can vibe well together. Um, but I think Libra is like one of the most mysterious signs to me. Maybe that's true for everyone else as well, but maybe that's a particular thing with me. I'm not sure. Because um, Libra is they're so detached that's what is actually intimidating in my point of view because you know i i feel more comfortable around more direct personality types and libra is very indirect and, and a little bit more passive they kind of hold back more which makes me a little nervous uh which isn't the worst thing in the world like if i'm intimidated by my partner maybe maybe that would actually be part of a good thing uh i don't know the other thing is libra is like my fifth house which is a very romantic house fifth house can be very sexual very fun um you know there could be a lot of humor there which i definitely have had you know like a very funny <laughs> kind of rapport you know humorous rapport uh between myself and libra personality so so there's a lot going for this combination there's also a lot maybe going against it um, you kind of have this, a similar dynamic here as what I described with Gemini where, you know, it may not be the sexiest thing if we're both like overthinkers, you know, we both have a lot in common, but, uh, you know, Libra, I'm kind of similar to Libra in the sense that, you know, I usually look for a more direct person, you know, I'm usually more attracted to more direct, like strong willed personalities. Um, so me and Libra, we may have that kind of awkward connection where both of us are waiting for the other one to initiate romantically. Um, so that's where I do think this would be more of a friendship thing or maybe even a friends with benefits. Um, when it comes to like a more traditional romantic relationship, I think that would be less likely. I think it has to be neutral, though. There's a lot going for this. There's a lot going against it. I probably have the most to say about Libra. Um but yeah, I think, I don't know, that it all kind of adds up to zero, I guess, to, to even, maybe. Uh, okay, next is Pisces. So Pisces, uh, me and Pisces, me and Pisces. <laughs> um, Pisces is a great, is a great sign. Me and Pisces, it can, it can be awkward. Um, I've met a lot more Pisces sun women than men. Um, I think I, I vibe a lot better with Pisces moon for some reason. Me and Pisces' son can be a bit awkward. I think they, maybe they feel awkward around me. Um, I think it's one of those things where I can be a little bit more detached. And so I think that can be uncomfortable for Pisces. Pisces is more emotional. If they can't place me emotionally, that can be, you know, maybe a little bit awkward for both of us. Um, what else? Or, or vice versa, like a more emotional sign um could be maybe uncomfortable for me maybe you know i do admire how pisces wears their heart on their sleeves um but at the same time that is a huge difference that i think could make a relationship challenging you know pisces opposes virgo and squares gemini some opposing signs work really well together um i, I have to be honest i think pisces and virgo work the least well out of any opposing pair if that makes sense like you know, the, the opposing fire and air signs work really well together. Taurus and Scorpio can work well. Cancer and Capricorn can work well, depending on the combination. But Virgo and Pisces, like, I think that's a difficult one. Um, Virgo is relatively cold. Pisces is relatively warm. Um, Virgo is so detached and analytical and cerebral. Pisces is so the opposite, more like in the moment and emotional. So... Um, so I think this would be one of the least likely, I'm going to do hard pass. Actually. I, I just, I, I don't know. I think with the right Pisces, it could be interesting. I've crushed on a, on a double Pisces before and really admired that person. Um, they were so sincere. I just feel like there's, they're so different than me though, that they're so different that they can actually appear a little bit similar. If that makes sense. That's kind of what you get with opposing energies. Um, but yeah, in a romantic situation, 
I think that could be difficult unless, of course, just like with any other sign, um, if it was a particular combination in the chart, it could probably, you know, work. But uh, but Pisces on its own, I think that would be difficult. There's a lot of squares and oppositions between us. So. Uh, okay, next is Sagittarius. So Sagittarius, oh, me and Sagittarius. <laughs> um i have sagittarius descendant and north node so i attract sagittarius like crazy like i have met so many different sagittarius um i've of the three relationships i've been in two had major placements in sagittarius so it's clearly a sign that i have a lot of karma with um i think you know other than cancer i would say i vibe the best with sagittarius we just kind of click if that makes sense we have enough in common that you know we, we we're both analytical intellectual um but they have a lot of strengths that i don't that i admire like they you know are more fiery more confident maybe braver than i am kind of like i said with aries um you know so and they're probably more spontaneous than i am which not only do i admire that but it can be a lot of fun of course that has its downsides as well like that can be a headache if they're too reckless um but all in all I do think Sagittarius is one of the more likely signs to, for me to be more involved with. Um, the only reason I do have this kind of reaction where I'm like, you know, I, I have a lot of experience um, kind of romantically with Sagittarius. So a lot of that experience is really good. Some of it is not as positive, um, but still on all, all in all, I'm still going to put them in the most likely category. The definitely, I don't know if I'd say definitely, I mean, I guess I am by putting them there. Whatever. Uh, okay, Scorpio. So, yeah, I've... Man, I've been on a lot of dates in the past year. I don't know if I mentioned that. Um, I'm not usually... I don't usually go on dates. I'm not usually a date person. But my last solar return ascendant was Libra. And so I think that's part of why I'm going on all these dates. And a lot of these dates, especially like the last several months, have been with Scorpio Sun or, or a lot of Scorpio Moon people. Or I just also met... Um, a lot of Scorpio moon people. Um, so I feel like I have a lot of recent experience with Scorpio and this one, this, this one, I just, I, it doesn't really work with me and I'll explain why. Um, and I, again, I'm not saying it couldn't happen. Um, Scorpio is a very interesting sign. One that I would still love to learn more about. Um, but again, I think there's this kind of difficulty with the more emotional signs and me where I'm just more detached i think so there's i think that can be very difficult i mean if you're in a rom romantic relationship and each of you processes your emotions completely differently obviously that's usually gonna be a challenge right um the other thing is that like me and scorpio have some things that are kind of weirdly in common um you could attribute that to virgo but then i think the biggest thing is like G comparing gemini you know i have a lot of gemini placements gemini moon rising south node how does that work with Scorpio? It's a really weird mix because it's quincunx. It's five signs apart. It's about as different as you can possibly get. Um, you know, Gemini is very detached and doesn't like to take anything too seriously. That's how I am. Scorpio, I feel like, is takes things very seriously. And that generally wouldn't work for me in a romantic relationship. I think, you know, it, it's kind of draining for me, honestly. Also, Scorpio... I think is one of the more negative signs, maybe the most negative sign. And I prefer to be upbeat and optimistic. Um, I don't mind a little cynicism. Like I don't even mind certain complaining. Like if I can relate to it and it makes sense or if it's funny, then I don't mind it at all. But, um, but if it's just kind of, you know, at least from my perspective, like pointless criticism, pointless negativity, like this is weighs down on me. It's draining. Um, and, and there's a weird kind of situation or weird dynamic that happens between me and Scorpio or maybe particularly like Gemini and Scorpio where um, we both are like hyper aware, especially socially and with other people. So we both want to figure each other out. And I think that can actually be very interesting and engaging sometimes. But then I don't know, there's <laughs> there's a disconnect there because for me that that kind of comes from a place of curiosity um and they're curious too but there's i don't know how to phrase it exactly like they're, they're, they're it's such heavy emotion scorpio is the most emotionally intense sign i'm not generally emotionally intense i don't think um 
you know, I'm more looking for a fiery personality. Scorpio can be fiery, but it's drenched in such heavy emotion. Anyway, so I'm going to put Scorpio. Uh, yeah, I think that's one of the least likely signs. Could it happen? Sure. And it depends on the placement. Like, I've really hit it off with a few Scorpio risings. I think Scorpio rising, um, for whatever reason, might be a match for me, maybe. Um but Scorpio Sun in particular, or or even Scorpio Moon, I think there's a, a disconnect there, if I'm being honest. Okay, next is Taurus. Um, Taurus, I admire how strong-willed they are. I admire their consistency, their reliability. I think they're a great, like, partner for anyone, you know, generally speaking, like, in whatever you're doing. Like, they're reliable, consistent, practical. I also admire how, like, they're a mix of you know, they're very responsible, but they also have that Venus connection. So they still are pleasurable. They know how to have a good time. Um, they are generally fun to be around, you know, but also responsible. Um, so that's really cool, at least on paper. I think I just get uh, maybe bored too easily, honestly. Um, you know, so, so they would have to have the right combination. I would either put this in the neutral or the probably category i think we can kind of maybe be like attracted to each other on paper so to speak but then the feeling just isn't there like the vibes aren't there the attraction or the chemistry you know it becomes more of like a friend dynamic i feel like you know because again i'm looking for like a more fiery personality generally speaking i think none of this is set in stone by the way like i'm not ruling anything out but um but yeah I think overall Taurus would be kind of neutral. There's, it sounds really good on paper, but there'd have to be some other like astrological skew or pattern for that to be, I think a little bit more exciting for both of us. Um, all right. I really thought there'd be a lot more signs in the like probably indefinitely categories. I didn't think there'd be so many down below. Um, and it's interesting how there's none in the probably not category. They're all either hard pass or neutral uh okay so this leaves um the last sign alphabetically virgo which like i said i have a lot of virgo placement well not a lot but virgo sun virgo mercury um so a lot you know a lot of major stuff in virgo um in previous years i would say i don't want to be with another virgo they overthink things i i already have that energy i don't need more of that um, but recently, in in recent years, I've actually really grown to appreciate my fellow Virgos, particularly Virgo suns. Oh, I love Virgo moons, though, too. Um, because I've noticed that Virgos, I like how they like to chat. They like to talk. Um, you know, they usually come across a little bit cold or reserved at first. But then once you kind of break the ice a little bit, they warm up quite a bit. And then, like I said, they like talking and... I feel like me and another Virgo can talk for hours, like forever. Um, so that can actually work very well. And then also you have the advantages of, you know, two people with the same sun sign. Obviously we're gonna relate a lot. You know, we probably have the same Mercury sign too, or they have Mercury in Libra, which would work well for me, or even Mercury in Leo. Um, so yeah, wherever their Mercury is, I think that would work well also. Um, but yeah, if we, we, we have a lot in common, you know, me and another Virgo may not rub each other the wrong way. Like, cause I, I can be a little bit dry or cold or I can come across critical sometimes. So I think maybe me and another Virgo could like understand that part of each other and, and maybe not rub each other the wrong way, hopefully. Um, so anyway, yeah, Virgo, I think that, um, could work. I think that's one of the more likely energies. So yeah. I, I really didn't plan this out at all. I kind of just winged it. Um, so I guess the results are Aquarius, Sagittarius, or Virgo, most likely, and then followed by Aries and Leo. And then Cancer, Capricorn, Libra, Taurus. I guess I haven't really decided yet. It's definitely possible. And no offense to Demoni, Pisces, or Scorpio. Those are all very interesting signs. Like, they're very deep and complex signs there's nothing wrong with those signs could a romantic situation happen absolutely anything can happen um but if i had to guess which one would be likely i wouldn't guess those <laughs> uh okay so i hope you had fun with me this was just 
I don't know. I just thought I would do a silly video. But uh, thanks for hanging out with me, and I'll see you later. Bye.